Good afternoon, Trains Nation. Today is Friday, January 27th, 2017. This is another episode of Video Trains Newswire. Welcome. I'm Steve Sweeney. Good afternoon. I'm Jim Wren. We've got almost 60 stories on Newswire this week. That's right, and 10 exclusives and more to come this afternoon. It is afternoon. a big week for Railroad News once again. Let's jump right into it. Absolutely. Well, I think one of the, one of the biggest things that we've got to talk about is, uh, is the wall. A lot, of people, a lot of people said that the wall would not happen, but this week the mm -hmm. new president, President Trump, signed executive orders to get that started. And you wrote a blog post this week, Jim, wrote saying, a blog that, post about that. Uh, saying that uh, maybe railroads will benefit by hauling concrete and steel. We don't know that. There was a story earlier this week reported by McClatchy News that we picked up that, uh, that the Trump administration is considering 50 projects across the United States. It's not clear whether the Trump administration is or members of Congress are or maybe governors in the 50 states are considering these projects. But 11 of them are railroad-related projects across the United States, most of them passenger infrastructure projects, which is really interesting. Read the Newswire article. You'll see which one they are. The one that fascinates me, of course, is the Texas Central, the high yes. speed rail between Dallas and Houston. It yes. be a big project. And also billions and billions of dollars for uh, New York City to uh, broaden up and open up the Northeast Corridor so you can get between Newark, New Jersey, and New York City more easily by rail. Were the tunnels, were the Hudson River yes. tunnels in there? Okay. Yeah. I thought they were. Yes, that's so part of it. And then a whole bunch of, of infrastructure projects to make sure that you can actually get to a tunnel uh, by, the, by the time there's a tunnel involved. So. Um, snow, snow and weather impacting uh, California. California was, Zephyr was delayed last weekend and early this week because of heavy snows. Union Pacific is doing its best uh, to clean out Donner Pass. And still no rotary snow plows yet. Yes. I'm still crossing my fingers for them. But yes. uh, we're, we're right now those that. nice Jordan spreaders are going back and forth. We've got a picture to go along with Bill Divin's report on that earlier this week, so be sure to see Newswire for that. We also had a really cool picture. I don't know if you caught this one. Uh, the state of New Jersey was caught in the crosshairs of a uh, sort of a January ice storm, ice and, and rainstorm, which dumped something like six inches on the tracks in northern New Jersey. So we've got an NJ Transit train standing in like six inches of water coming up above the rails oh dear. Uh, and still electrified so I don't, oh dear. I don't know how well that works but that's on Newswire this week. Um, Jim I'm gonna let you do the mention the number story because that's a really big number posting up with King Cole. King Cole up 22 percent. I could not believe it. Wow. But then again it was way off last year so yes. anything is going to be a big improvement. Yes. But uh, yeah you know it's a, it's a little bit more uh, the power plants are trying to re replenish their stockpiles mm -hmm. and so, you know, a little bit better year for coal right now from the, from the get-go, but, um, you know, still long-term, it's, it's not going to be what it used to be. So don't get too excited about that. But overall, railroad traffic is up uh, first part of the year, which is great. And then, of course, uh, stock market hit a big high this week. Yes, 20,000 20, points. 20,000. Railroads did well. You know, they're not exactly tied to the stock market, but you right. know, they're, they're still swept up in that overall euphoria. Yeah, we have, a, we have a great story out yesterday on that, excuse me, on Thursday. And we have some commentators, including Fred Fraley and Tony Hatch, Anthony Hatch, who said, um, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Bill Stevens, who normally covers railroads and business for us, uh, replied that it's this, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is sort of like the Kardashians of financial world. Exactly. They're, they're famous because they're famous and that's right. about it. Right. So, but, but interesting, we got a full report on that. Um, did we have to talk about Hunter Harrison? I yes. guess we do. Yes, we do. He's, um, he's loose on the world again. I yes. think his contract is over. He's on vacation right now, yes. but uh, when he comes back, it looks like he's going to be headed to try to oust the management at either CSX, Norfolk Southern, or Kansas City Southern because his departure no. agreement with CP forbid him to go to UP or BNSF. That's, that's right. Now this time, uh, Hunter, we think he's going to be working with a different management group. Before it was Pershing Square Capital Management. They're in history now. The new group is called um, Mantle Ridge. Mantle Ridge, it's run out of New York City, and they are actively pursuing um, something with CSX Transportation. CSX says uh, publicly that they will talk to these guys, and already uh, one shareholder group that owns about one and a half to two percent of CSX, CSX's stock says that they want Hunter to be in charge of the company. Any, any board of director group is, of course, going to go and talk to these people because yes. it's part of their fiduciary responsibility. They Absolutely. have to go do that. So I wouldn't read too much into that, but we'll, we'll just see, you know, we'll, right. we'll see what they, they've, you know, they've uh, fended off, you know, the Children's Investment Fund before. Yes. Another try by Hunter Harrison and yes. Pershing Capital. So we'll, we'll see. They, they seem to be pretty pretty happy with what they're doing, you know, under Michael Ward's leadership and, and uh, you know, the, a lot of the things that Hunter has been famous for, they've already implemented. That's right. You know, c 
focusing on core, core routes, mm -hmm. uh, lengthening the big, trains, the big train, yep. the big train strategy. So a lot of those things are already in place. Absolutely. So we'll be watching for that. The key date we think is February 10th, February 10th. Read the Newswire story to find out why. Yeah, check out Newswire regularly because we'll, we'll update that as often as we can. Um, can we get to some happy news? Please. Let's, let's do Please. that. Please. GE, General Electric, came out with a video this week. They posted on YouTube. We've posted it on Newswire for you, and you can see that. Um, basically, Jim, they came out with a foamer video. It Did really is this? good. It really is good. Yeah. I, it's about the plant manager, or one of the plant managers. Not yes. He's the plant manager. In but Fort Worth. One of the plant managers at the locomotive manufacturing plant in Fort Worth, and just talks about his love for railroading. And trains. And trains, and, and what, yes. train watching. And it really is cool. You, you'll, you'll recognize someone in this video, primarily yourself. Yes, so. yeah. Well, and, uh, and us too. And yeah. us too. So go, go see that. Uh, interesting note, Haley Enoch, our, our correspondent in Dallas, she's going to be meeting with this guy hopefully on Monday. Oh, we'll super. Get, get, a, get a full interview from him. So we'll bring you as much of that when we can. That's great. Yeah, that's, that's going to awesome. be awesome. Going to be awesome. Going to be awesome. Um, we've got other notes here on Nippon Shiryu, had layoffs. Um, NS's profit climbed in the fourth quarter. CN's profit climbed. Um, so lots and lots of news. I, I just wanted to say one thing, Jim. If you're getting your news about railroads from somewhere other than trains and trains newswire, why? Why would you do that? I don't know. Oh my I mean, we've got, we got so much good we stuff We've got so much there. going on. Yeah, yep. it's good. Check us out. Yeah. Um, time now for what, has, what, we're, what we're doing instead of trivia, the pithy comment of the week. Pithy. Pithy. P-I-T-H-Y. Make, make, sure, make sure we got that right. Yes. Pithy. Okay. <clears throat> With a T-H. Uh, you could also say a witty comment mm. for the week. It's something that you find in the news and you want to comment about it, and you comment, uh, comment about it in our comment section below, which is where you used to put a trivia answer. Uh, and so we're just looking out for you to, you know, be observant. Read the news wire, read the news, you know, and say, hey, I've got a one-liner, a good one-liner that would be good for trains, and it's, and it's clean, and they can say it on the air. So last week, uh, last week, as if you're regularly watching our Trains Newswire, you noticed that I was a little bit over-caffeinated. Well, there's a lot going on between Circus Trains and Hunter Harris and a new president coming in. I was, you know, energized. So, uh, Daniel Carlton gets uh, this week's pithy comment prize, which is a issue of our latest wonderful Chicago SIP. It's excellent, 98 pages of the best about railroads, uh, America's railroad capital. And Daniel said, um, as a railroader, let me reiterate that trains and decaf are mutually exclusive. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> uh, I, yes, we agree. I've, I've heard that before, but I've never heard it so eloquently. Yes, I agree. Very so Daniel, nicely done. Daniel, send me, uh, send me your address, of course, your name, <laughs> to newswire at trainsmag.com. That's a new email address that we have for your tips, comments, photos, and suggestions. Also, links to YouTube video that you may have shot trackside, newswire at symbol trainsmag.com and I'll be sure to see it, Daniel. So um, continue on and continuing on, uh, if you want to get another copy of our Chicago SIP for you or for a loved one, it's got huge maps, huge maps. Milwaukee to Chicago. It's got Chicago rail yards and schematics. It's linking up. It's only $9.95, but I tell you, it's worth it and just for the maps. And alone. the beautiful thing is it is on sale now at your favorite newsstand. Yes, it is. Book, book, sh book sh store, whatever it may be. Hobby New, shop. Newsstand. Go of by and check it shop. out. It is yeah. out there now. Yes, so. it's, it's wonderful, wonderful. Excellent copy, excellent issue, and uh, we hope you like it when you get it. But if you want your own copy, put a pithy comment in the comment section below. Pithy, witty, keep it clean. Can keep, be any Newswire story. Can be any Newswire story <clears throat> or just an observation about the Newswire itself or the trends that you see, and put it in the comment section below. We will pick the one that we like next week. Say it on the air and you get Chicago SIP. Sounds good. Outstanding. So for everyone at Trains Magazine, stay pithy. Have a great weekend, everybody. The drama of modern railroading is nowhere more apparent than in Chicago. Trains Magazine takes you along for an up-to-date look at the Windy City's railroad scene with its new 60-minute DVD and special issue, Chicago, America's Railroad Capital. You will see today's passenger and freight operations in urban landscapes and bright suburban locations, as well as a look at the development of the city's rail network.
Both are available January 2017 at KalmbachHobbyStore.com.